Hello everyone, my name is Andrew McSorley. I am the Reference and Digital Liberal Arts Librarian here at Lawrence University. Today we are going to take a look at some resources that the library has that can help you in creating your podcast. Before we dive in, let me just say that if you have not yet come to your friendly neighborhood MUD library, this podcast assignment can be a great reason for you to come in, talk to a reference librarian, and get a sense of all of the resources the library has to offer you. So now let's take a look at some specific things that the library has that can help you with your podcast. We'll start with our databases. So if we go to the library's homepage, you will see a link on the right hand side that says databases A to Z. We will click on that. And that will take us to a complete list of all of the databases the library has access to in alphabetical order. We are going to take a look at a database called Sounds Abound. And if we click on that, we are taken to the Sounds Abound library brought to us by PBS Wisconsin. And this is a database that contains audio files, some sound effects, but mostly instrumental or long form tracks that you can use for intro music, ambient music, those sorts of things in your podcast. Today, we want to take a look at browsing sound file tags. This is the easiest way for you to find audio that's going to be the most useful for your podcast. And there is a tag called audio for podcast. If we click on that, we will only find uh, music resources within this that have been tagged as good audio for podcasts. You can also see some of the other tags here that indicate what uh, also this uh, sound file can be used for. So if you're looking for weird robotic synthesizer music for your podcast, uh, this file might do well. So if we click on that, you'll see that you can preview the audio here on the right hand side, and you also have a link to download that MP3 file. With the MP3 file downloaded, you can then put that into your Audacity program, and you can edit that as you see fit with the rest of your podcast. If you have any questions about using this database, how it works, if you have trouble with a file, uh, go ahead and come into the library and talk to any of our reference librarians uh, any of us will be able to help you with any questions you have about this. Let's next go back to the library's homepage. And from here, I want to draw your attention to link to our research guides. And one research guide in particular that is very useful for you as you create your podcast is the Digital Media Toolbox. So we will go into this and find that there are many resources here for creating digital projects. Uh, one of the links up at the top is called Getting Equipment. And these resources were created by librarians and our friends at Instructional Technology. And this is not comprehensive information, but it is great information and a great resource for you to come back to as you're trying to find information about how to create your project and what we have to offer. This Getting Equipment guide is very useful uh, it has a link to a guide of equipment that you can check out. And two things to note within uh, this list is that we have sound recording equipment for you to check out. If you look at our list of sound recorders, you'll see amongst them the Zoom digital recorder. That is very good. You will also see the Blue Yeti Nano Microphone. This is very easy to use. It's a USB microphone, so you do not need a sound mixer or anything else like that. It's a plug and play kind of device, and it's very high quality, very easy to use. So you can take a look at those resources and find all of the equipment that we have to check out here. In addition, you can find on this guide the borrowing equipment reservation form. We ask that you fill out this reservation form when you want to borrow any of the equipment that you find on that list. It helps us make a reservation and make sure that everyone is uh, getting access to these materials as much as they want to. There are many other people in many courses who want to access this material 
So making a reservation ahead of time not only ensures that you are going to be able to use the equipment that you want when you want it, but it also ensures that the rest of your colleagues are going to be able to do the same. So please fill that out before you come to the circulation desk to check out any equipment. If you have questions, you can come to the circulation desk and talk to Cindy Patterson, or you can talk to a reference librarian. We also have contact information for Cindy Patterson. Uh, she is the circulation services supervisor here, and she can help you with any questions you have about equipment as well. Finally, I wanna talk quickly about copyright and fair use. Uh, the most important thing for you to remember is to cite your sources. If you download any audio and use it, if you use other resources uh, as quotations, uh, even within your podcast, make sure that you are citing, make sure you are attributing those things within the podcast, in the show notes, however your instructor may want you to do that. If you have questions about how to cite this material, we have a section on citing audiovisual materials in the toolbox, but any citation questions can be answered by a reference librarian. So always come to the library and ask us any questions you have about citations, uh, how they work, when to use them, uh, etc. Um, finally, a note about students and copyright for any instructors who may be watching this out there. It's important to remember that students own the materials that they create in class. They have copyright for those works and they are protected under FERPA guidelines. So if you would like to use student work outside of class as samples or for any other purpose, uh, you do need to uh, get a waiver for uh, those rights under FERPA. We have for your use a template permission form to use. Um, we also have a link to a copyright course for educators and librarians on this guide as well. If you have additional questions about copyright, how to use these forms, anything else that comes up related to copyright, you can talk to a reference librarian. We also recommend that you uh, direct questions to the director of the library, Pete Gilbert. Um, so that is the information that I wanted to show you today about what the library has to offer you as you create your podcast. If you have questions, again, come to the library, talk to a reference librarian. We're all here to help you. So enjoy creating your podcast and I'll see you in the library soon.